Democrats are putting the conversation about race front and center, and now a group of Tulsans is working to race against racism. All new at 5, Two Works For You anchor Stephen Romo is live with why they think action is needed in our community. Stephen? Yeah, Brian, the culmination of months of work will happen this Saturday here at LaFortune Park, that race against racism. It's the idea of a native Tulsan who says he's working against stereotypes that he helped foster when he was younger. Richard Baxter, born and raised in Tulsa, wants to make the community a better place after doing the opposite when he was younger. Convicted for drug trafficking charges, he was sentenced to more than 120 years in prison. A jury of my peers sentenced me here 60 years for this charge, 40 for that one, 15 for this. Instead of giving up, Richard says he was determined to fight for freedom. I never accepted that long sentence. I had faith I would get out, so I had to go in the law library and do the work. He was able to argue the search that led to his conviction was done improperly without a warrant. So after serving five years, he was freed in November of 2012. He started college just two months later, graduated in May. He's now a paralegal planning to go to law school and determined to make a difference. He started a nonprofit called Racism Stinks. It has a dual purpose of, of me trying to break down the racial stereotypes that I feel that I helped to foster some of those. And so it's a personal redemption for me. It's just um, a sign to people that, um, you know, never give up. Marty Vaughn met Richard when they were students at Tulsa Community College. Inspired by him, she's taking part in the Racism Stinks big rollout event, The Race Against Racism. I think this is going to be something that's going to be on a national level. We want this to be Tulsa, the citizens of Tulsa's chance to come together to show unity. Now that race does kick off at 8 a.m. Saturday here at LaFortune Park. The proceeds are going to victims of that church shooting in South Carolina. If you want more information, you want to take part, look at the story on our website, KJRH.com. Reporting live, Stephen Romo, two works for you. Happening now as Oak Mulgee students prepare.